Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode. No, welcome back to a new episode. Welcome back to a new series, Stardew Valley. It's a, uh, it seems like it's going to be a lovely little game. Created by Concerned Ape, published by Chucklefish. Any settings? Music. I'm afraid that that's gonna be like full screen or whatever. Shall we go a new game? It's a uh, Harvest Moon type game, but it seems to be more open ended without the set end at the usual Harvest Moon. Like you have a set amount of days. This one seems to have a goal, but not really a time limit. So it seems interesting. I will play as female. That skin color. I've already... I have already... Tried... To record an episode. But as I said in one of the Terraria episodes that may or may not come before this one. Um... The neighbors were being noisy, so I just decided, ow, I'll wait a bit. So, it's the next day. Almost two days. Nope, yep, no, nope, two days. 1 a.m. <laughs> so, I've already done like 30 minutes of the game. And most of that, no, not most of that. But a significant portion of that was, uh, the surprising portion, I should, I should say, was um, just me doing the character creation. I don't know why, but I put Salt Cod last time just because it seemed funny. I have no clue what the favorite thing does. I don't know if somebody brings it up in dialogue. From the 30 minutes that I played, I have not seen what it does yet. But I'm sure it's going to be hilarious once we actually see it. Oh, eye color. Um, let's go with like an icy blue. And hair... To be, uh... No. It's not that one either. What one was it? I don't remember. There's one that had a ponytail, I'm fairly certain. That one? No. Not that one. When was it? Maybe that one? I'll switch the hair color to... Purple. That's slightly... Yeah, let's go with that. Um... I don't remember what hair style I chose last time. I didn't take the bun. I'm fairly certain I took a ponytail. Or maybe that? And also, I can have a lovely beard, even though I am a, a lovely lady. Not not me, the character. Um, it seems... I'm, I don't know, I like it. It's funny. I don't want a beard. Get rid of the beard. Um, I could be a robot. That could be entertaining. Uh, I think I went with a scarf necklace looking thing. I have no clue what hairstyle I went with. Which isn't entirely important, but... I went with that one. I went with that one. Gotcha, gotcha. And I went with... Tuxedo shirt. Yeah. And then black pants. Well, not black pants, gray pants. There we go. Preferred animal cat. Salt cod, little big farm, Fenerax. Uh, 
I'd say we're about good to go. Yet again, forgot the timer. Well, whatever. Let's get rolling. It's kind of a long-ish intro. But it's got an interesting story. And for my very special granddaughter. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Thank you, Grampy. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. X, X years later. In a miserable looking job. Just... It's like, yeah, every cubicle has its own camera. That one guy got terminated. It's, uh... It doesn't look too good. And the skeleton at the end. I did not notice that the first time around. And I don't look like I'm having too much fun. There's the little envelope. We can click it. Dear Fenerax, if you're reading this, you must be in a dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I had lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I have enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Little Big Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This way, my most precious gift of all. And now... Now, uh... Hmm? This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Will do, Grampy. When the bus. It does look really pretty, doesn't it? It's the background with the mountains and then the ocean. So pretty. Stardew Valley, 0.5 miles away. Hmm. Hello, birdie. It's a... Uh... Oh, oh. The air brakes for the... For the van? For the bus? Hello, you must be Fenerax. Yes, I am, Robin. Hello. I'm Robin, the local car- The local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. I look so snazzy with my, uh... Oh, <laughs> with my t-shirt. This this is Little Big Farm. I think I put a space at the end of pig by accident, so it's little, little space, big space, space farm. Whoops. It's, uh... It's kind of, you know... Not exactly top quality... It's looking a little rundown, that's all I'm saying. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I mean... 
a lot of dedication. I feel like. And here we are, your new home. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of botched up a bit. Um, ah, the new farmer. Hey, it's Lewis. Hello, Lewis. It's got a hole in the porch. It's kind of banged up. Could uh, use a new coat of paint for the. Is that metal or is that? Could would you paint those? I don't know. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. Pelican Town. In Stardew Valley. You'll know. Ev you know everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Cool. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. That's one way to describe it, sure. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. He didn't seem too pleased by that comment. Don't listen to her, Fenerax. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you'll buy one of her house upgrades. <sighs> Gasp. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. We should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. The box right here. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. And apparently after that, I just went directly to sleep. It didn't even look like it was nighttime. It looked like midday at most. Hello. Got a package of some description? Parsnips. And a new journal entry. It'd be a nice to nice gesture to introduce yourself around introduce yourself around town. Some people might be anxious to meet the new farmer. Alright. Getting started. Wanna become a farmer? You have to start with the basics. Use your hoe, till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready to harvest. Cultivate and harvest parsnips. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Let's reorder this. So that it's... That, that... That, that... Uh... That. Yeah. And then parsnip seeds there. And we've got the, uh... The HUD here, the day-night cycle here, time, weather, season, Monday, the first, the amount of money we have, a little journal, energy bar, 270 out of 270, and our house. Should we... Do the parsnip first, or should we introduce ourselves? Let's start with the parsnips. Smooch. Uh, and then some more smashing, some more smooching. Smash, smash, smooch. Um, we've got. 15. So I'll make it 3 by 5. Starting. If you hold shift, it'll. It'll show you where. It'll. First, it'll make you run, but it'll also show you where you can use your tools. So starting. That's 1, 2, 3. Two, three. Yeah, let's do it there. One, two. Let's 
Let's cut a bit of grass. One, two, three, four, five. Sure, they are hydrated. It's kind of a strange noise for the water. It sounds kind of slimy. I wonder if I use the scythe around the seeds, if that'll be bad. I don't know. down. Ugh, my bad. You can hold down the tool and it'll just cut, uh, it'll just be continued use. There we go. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Cut that down. Nope, that's... Alright, I'm switching you two around. I'm <laughs> just messing those two around for no good reason. There we go. That's that. We haven't gotten anything too interesting. If we have... Actually, there's a, a crafting thing. There's the, our inventory. This is the usable inventory, it's just that. But we can get a backpack uh, at the general store for a thousand-ish, I think. No, probably more. Probably two thousand-ish. Um, and it'll unlock all of this, I think. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, because it's a twenty-four slot backpack. So we'll unlock all of that. Options, auto run. Yes, please. <laughs> Yes. Do I? Yeah. Yes. Wait. There we go. Uh, collection. Oh, uh, I don't. I probably don't got anything. Items shipped. Fish, artifact, mineral, cooking, achievement. Hey, earn 15k. And then there's some crafting, and you can make a chest for 50 wood, and you can put stuff in it. You can make some paths to spruce the place up. But I think we are going to go check on the villagers. There was, uh... Does running deplete my... If it does, not by much. Minecart? Out of order. Alright. Bus to Calico Desert is out of service. I just used it though. Interesting. Let's get to town. Running around doesn't seem to use up any energy, which is nice. Uh, a person. Sam. Good to meet you. Hello. Alright, well that was that. Oh, it shows the birthdays of people and the events. Good to know, good to know. A person. Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. I could. Hello, nerd. Harvey. Pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. So, kind of a nerd? perform regular checkups and medical procedure for all the residents in Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. It's a lady. Leah. Looks kind of like Robin. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. 
picked a good time to move here. Spring is very lovely. Spring is lovely around here. Let's get in. Hello. Abigail. I heard someone new was moving on to the old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I was enjoying exploring those overgrown fields by myself. I mean, you can still go look around. I'm not gonna stop you. And you are? Caroline. You must be Fenorax, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello. Husband runs the general store here. Oh, that's your husband? And you have met my daughter, Abigail. She's the pale girl with the purple hair. I'm also pale, and I have purple hair. My character does, at least. Uh, anything else? No. Anything from you? No. That's the backpack. 2,000. Don't exactly have the money for that. Parsnip seeds, bean starter, cauliflower, potatoes. Yeah, my bad. Tua, kale, jazz? The hell is jazz? I don't know what a jazz is. I know the music, but not a plant. Blue puffball. Interesting. To start a new patch of grass. Interesting. Sugar. Too much can be unhealthy. Plus 25 energy and, 20 f and uh, 10 health. Wheat flour. Rice, oil, vinegar, wallpaper. Oh. Flooring. Jewel. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a tree, so... Only grows if the eight surrounding tiles are empty. Yeah, but they produce, a, I imagine, a significant amount of stuff. I... I think I want beans. I think I want... Five beans. Now let's talk. Miss Fenerax, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. You're looking for seeds? My shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. But don't I just put that in the box? I thought I'd just put that in the box. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Well, if you say so. Nope, me first. There's, uh, no, apparently nothing. Oh, you have to be facing it? Maybe I just can't expect it. Inspect it. Saloon. Food spirits. It's an old lady. She's looking at flowers. Hello, old lady. Evelyn. Welcome to a little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I don't remember what I just called her. Did I call her old Granny or Old Lady? I don't know. Hello, Granny. There should be a map. Yeah, right there. So that's my place. This is here. Fish shop. Nine to five. When are we today? 150. Let's go to the fisher fishing place. Sewers. Well, I mean, we can... Locked. Okay, cool. I mean, there might be something interesting in there. A grave there? Maybe. Uh, I'll imagine the thing is in here. Be back tomorrow. Oh, okay. The, uh... The coastal sounds are relaxing. I, uh... Oh. 300 pieces of wood, this could be fixed. That seems like a lot. It's locked. Only Elliot's friends can enter uninvited. Elliot. Do I know Elliot? Is that Elliot? Yep. That's a... Looks like a dude. Looks like a girl. Dude, girl, dude, girl. Uh, new farmer we've all been expecting, and those... And whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. 
I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Same, same to you, I suppose. 3 p.m. Uh, let's have a little look around. What's the map? It's Mayor's Manor, Blacksmith, Museum, Jojo Mart. Wasn't that the place that I was working at? Jojo related? Community Center. Nothing apparently. Carpenter Shop. Oh, Robin. Demetrius, Sebastian, and Maru. Oh, it's cabin. Something. Mines. I wanna go check out the mines. What the wizard's tower? Alright, I wanna check out that sometime also. But the mines first. Let's. Blacksmith shop? I like the music, it's nice. What's that? Apparently I can't talk to her. Um, did I want to be on this side or the other side? Alright, apparently that doesn't work. Let's go down here. Because there was staircases. Yeah, right there. Stone or wood? I do not know. Wood. Most definitely wooden staircase. Is that a... Oh. Pelican Town... Town Hall? Locked. This is... Froggy! I saw a froggy little... Froggy jump. Uh... Coal. I'll check the coal out. A little thing there. I think the objective of the game is to... Rebuild the town center. Bigger and better. I really should uh, plant some new trees. I'm sure it'll look it would look lovely. What's this? Oh, the carpenter shop? Where did I want to go? Just to the mines. 5 p.m. Oh, two new people. Robin, hey! Not everyone, I don't think. Demetrius. Local scientist and father, thanks for introducing yourself. Studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? No, I... Uh, was she the little girl with the purple hair that I saw at the branch? If so, then I've seen her, but I've not met her. She didn't, she didn't seem too interested in talking. Oh. So close, that's so far. Oh. I can shake the trees. I wonder if anything interesting ever falls out of them. Doesn't look like it. That's probably how you get the fruits out of the fruit trees. Would, uh, would make a decent amount of sense. Hello, little Ewok. Uh, are you Maru, maybe? I'm going to assume you're a guy, though. For whatever reason. Yep, Sebastian. You just moved in, right? Cool. Well, yeah, that's that. No, you still talk. Okay. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Yeah, well, I mean, it's my grandfather had a place already, so I thought, why not? That looks fancy. Um, it doesn't seem to work. I'm going to assume I'm just going to have to wait until he finishes that. Sorry about this, guys. It 
Sorry about that, guys. Um, so, it's 8 p.m. I'll go up here, see what's in the tent. Oh, hello, old man. Linus. Stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. In a tent. Well, be seeing you, most likely. Railroad. But it's blocked. Oh, uh, do I just need a? I can probably get there with a better pickaxe. Or is it over here and up? That would make a bit more sense. The game doesn't get real dark, but it just kind of the colors distort a bit. I think I like this. I think I like this more than... No? No, I think I missed it. I want to try going there, but it is already nine o'clock. I should, I should go sleep. I am, after all, probably getting up at like, oh, break all these things. Froggy, frog, oh, I don't know if I can catch them or not. I have no idea. There we go. Do we have? No, we only got 22 wood. Uh, Harvey single, Sam single, Abigail single, Elliot is single, Sebastian is single, Leah single. Still a lot of people we have not met. That's the little, was that the little girl that I met at the? No, that was Abigail. I just thought she was much younger than she actually was. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's go catch some Z's. But I think that'll probably be about it for the episode, so... I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Hope to see you in the next one. I feel like there are many episodes to come. And yes, have a lovely day. Stay safe. Goodbye.